guys, it's Beth, aka The Fitness Princess, and I am here today to give you one last tip at, in our series of getting started with health and fitness. Now, at some point, you're no longer a beginner. You're no longer just starting um, on your health journey. You just are in it, and it's a journey. It has ups and downs, as every journey does. So, my tip today is kind of one that kind of gets you from beginner to in it, if that makes sense. Um, my tip for today is to listen to your body. Your body is very smart. It's very intricate. God, he knew what he was doing when he created us and it fascinates me every single day what our bodies can do. And our bodies give us triggers when something's not right something hurts or you know you get sick we are designed to move optimally but that's not always the case things happen you know so I want to share a story a short story with you about my personal testimony with health and fitness and why I somewhat started my journey um, I started getting headaches when I was in second grade I started charting them and it it, it evened out to be about one a day and I remember in sixth grade I got my first migraine and my mom also told me I could no longer take ibuprofen because she was afraid that I was going to become addicted to painkillers but I had a headache every day and I couldn't figure out why and in high school I just figured okay whatever it's just going to be part of my life and I'm just gonna have to learn how to deal with them I always had some sort of painkillers on me. Um, I don't know if you remember the head-on commercials. I legitimately bought like three tubes of head-on just so that I could apply it to my head because that sensation of, I don't know if it was a peppermint or menthol or whatever, it made my headaches um, lessen. And so I carried head on in my purse for years. My When I met Tyler, he made fun of me for it, but it worked, at least for me. And so when I started this journey, part of it was because I wanted to figure out why I was getting these headaches. I could not stand any longer to have headaches. It was just, it was an annoying part of my life. And I knew that deep down there was a root issue that I needed to figure it out. So that's when I started doing all the research I did. And um, now I can tell you with this, the um, switcheroo of my diet, eating a lot cleaner, less processed foods, less boxed and packaged things, that I don't have a headache every day anymore. I have figured out that my migraines are hormonal, so that's unfortunate, but I'm working on getting my hormones balanced, but my daily headaches are no longer there. And so when we listen to our body, when something is hurting, it's telling us we need to do something different. Maybe you have stomach aches every day. Maybe you feel bloated or you have troubles with gas or, you know, whatever. Those are digestive issues. Maybe you have a food intolerance. Start digging a little deeper. Sometimes it's simply taking something out of our diet. Other times there's a bigger issue and we do have to go see a doctor for that. But food is medicine and food has healing properties when we eat to nourish our bodies we can sometimes fix those problems. So start to listen to your body. If your body is telling you something, if it's yelling at you, do something different. I know for me, my headaches do come back when I'm not properly hydrated. So that just means I need to drink some more water during the day. I try to get in a gallon a day. Um, some days it's less than that, but I know that if I'm not properly hydrated, I can expect to have a headache that day. So as we, as we continue on our health journey, you know, you're going to have certain things come up. And um, if you just start to listen to your body and try, try to fix it, or if you really do have to go see a doctor about it, that is fine. But as we start to listen to it, you're starting to transition away from beginner to just being on your journey and making that part of your lifestyle. So that is my tip for today. I hope you have enjoyed this series. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I hope you have a great afternoon and I will talk to you later. Bye.